what's up guys welcome back to another random video today we are back in the kia 2018 kia forte and what we're going to be doing is installing a phone charger as you can see we have a cigarette outlet the thing is that's what, what i use for my dash cam this usb port does not charge a phone so what we're going to do is add a charger on this side we're going to use hopefully that one if not maybe that one and what we're going to be using is this little device over here it is a usb phone charger and to make it simple we're using this little thing called a add a circuit which uh add a circuit plug or something like that and this goes right into your your fuse box splices into a fuse box the fuse goes here for the accessory from factory and this is the fuse that goes out to the accessory we're going to be adding so let's get to it all right so first first things first we're going to go ahead and pull out the fuse cover that will give us some access to the fuses you can see right in there and that gives us access to push this uh, thing through all it is just a, a clip Come on. There it is. And here's the back part of that panel. Um, looks like we have a little bit of a problem. I wasn't considering that this switch would be that big around. So we can't really use this right here. We're going to have to try and get in here. So let's see if we can pop it out. Hard to do it with one hand. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the phone down. All right, so I got it out. It's actually pretty easy. Just has two clips, one on the top, one on the bottom. We can set that aside. This is the connection we're gonna be using. It's just uh, two USB connectors and they're for charging anything that's five volts or anything of that nature. In the back, it just has two connectors, two connectors, a positive and negative. It looks like we're gonna have a little bit of an issue. Let's see. I'm gonna have to trim down the corner, round off the corner on the top and the bottom so we can actually get it in. It looks like it will fit. I got the corner rounded off. I might need to trim that off for now. Let's just get a test fit. Cool. Once we get maybe round it off a little bit more, it should be a perfect fit. Round it off the corners and it fits. Fits nice and snug. That's not going anywhere. And all we have is two wires to run. One of them is going to be the ground down here and then the positive. So for that, we're going to go into our fuse box. And then looking at the code over here, we're going to go ahead and go into this one ignition one so we're going to pull out that fuse plug in the little connector that we have and plug it back in and this we're going to run this wire extend it out to the positive of the connector first things first we're going to pull out the fuse it's going to be this one for the ignition There's a spot right over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach our ground with an eye hook. And right over here, we're going to send it down a little bit and get a self tapping screw in there. Before I put the connector back on, I want to show that there is a difference about on the size of the, the fuses. This is the one that came with the connector, and this is the one that belongs in the vehicle. So they are different. Luckily, I have another one of this same size, so I'm going to be using that. And it's also a 20 amp, just like the factory one. So this is where the factory one goes back on, and this is where we're going to add our new fuse for the accessory. Got the 
wires on the accessory. There's a ground, there's a positive. And let's see before I put everything back on. And there it is. Perfect. So just to point out, I am running right now a 20 amp fuse, but I'm actually going to be changing that to a 7.5. You don't need anything more than that for this particular setup. I hope this video helps you guys out and uh, have fun.